What's up guys, it's the 4th Gaming here and welcome to the tallest foot draft in FIFA 16. So without further ado, let's get into this. Of course, well as you can see by the title, the rule is that I have to choose the tallest player from each selection I get. Obviously, in this formation, it doesn't really matter, but I can't find a good formation. Apparently this is good, but I really need wingers. Oh, I really don't like any of them. I'll just choose this one, 4141. Can't be too bad, I guess. But let's have a look at the choice. We've got Wayne Rooney. Oh, there's Messi, Iniesta, and Thiago Silva. Let's see who is the tallest. I think it'll be Ronaldo. There's Rooney, 5'9. Ronaldo, 6'1, 5'7, 5'7, and 6'. So it's gotta be Ronaldo. So I guess we get the best choice. I mean, Messi could have been better. But let's go into the striker and see what we can do. And we get Aubameyang, Icardi. So let's have a look at all of them. I have a feeling that it's gonna be Mandzukic. But we get Aubameyang, 6'2. He's also 6'2. He's 5'11, so he's definitely not going to work. Mandzukic is also 6'2. So we get a choice between Mandzukic, Harry Kane, and Aubameyang. Obviously, I'm going to choose Aubameyang. A very fast player, very good player as well. But let's move on to the right mid position. Let's see who we get in that position. We get Arda, Turan, Lamela, Willian, Charisma, and Costa. Costa would be good. I have a feeling that I won't be able to choose him. Because Turan's 5'10. Lamela, 6'. Didn't expect that. William 5'9, 5'9, and 5'8. So I got to choose Eric Lamella. Probably not the best choice, but not the worst player, I guess. Of course, the chemistry wise, this is not going too good. But let's move on to the center mid position. Oh, we get Paul Pogba. Hopefully, I can make Paul Pogba, even though he keeps absolutely no chemistry. But let's have a look. Pogba 6'2, 5'10, 5'9, 5'6, and 5'7. Yep, it is Pogba. That is ideal, except for that. Chemistry wise, it's just not working out. But let's keep going on to the other sentiment. We got Nain Golan who would be decent. But let's have a look. We got Nain Golan who's five foot nine, Henderson six foot, six foot two Pastore. And then yeah, so six foot two Pastore has got to go on the squad. Oh actually he keeps a decent chemistry with Lamella which might come useful. But let's move on to our centre defensive mid position and see who we get in that position. I don't think I really want any of them, but let's have a look. He's 6 foot 3 already, that's a good start. And yep, I think it's gotta be Neustadter. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name, but we gotta choose this guy. He doesn't look too bad, actually, he kinda looks bad. Defensively, a good player, but let's move on to left back and hopefully we get a player that links with Ronaldo. We get Patrice Evra, Layun, we get J Zuniga, we get Golem and Ferreira. Actually, Ferreira might help. But let's see which one's the tallest. Ebra 5'9, 5'10, 5'8, 6'2, and 6'0. So it's gotta be Gollum, who actually doesn't look too bad, but I'll keep going. Like, there's no chemistry. There's not. There's nothing happening in chemistry. But let's have a look at the center backs. Of course, center backs, you expect them to be tall. But let's have a look. First one, 6'0. He's 6'4. Oh, hopefully, I don't get Louis out. He's really slow. 6'2 and 5'11. And Coley, which is short for a center back, I gotta admit that. But it looks like we have got to choose Luis Al. Oh dear, this is not going too well. Even though they are tall, chemistry wise, this is just not good at all. But let's, oh, we get 90 rated Diego Gordon. He would be pretty good. But I think we all know that who he's going to be. Just to clarify, 6 foot 1, 6 foot 2, 6 foot 6 foot 6 now though. And this guy, I really want him. I really want to use him as well. So he might come useful. He keeps a good link with Luis Al as well. So, and then also this noise data, so it might come useful. And uh, let's move on to the right back now, is, uh, if my game decides to do it. Let's have a look who we get. We get Mike on Danny Alves, Philip, Lam, Kava, Hal, and Sanya. I would like, I would, I would really like Lam. I would, yeah, Lam's the only one who really could do something. But let's have a look. We get Mike on 6 foot tall, 5 foot 8, 5 foot 7, disappointing, 5 foot 8, and 5 foot 10. What's the first one? Six foot? Yep, looks like we gotta choose Mike on. Again, not the worst choice because it does keep a link with Naldo, which is not too bad. But let's go into the goalkeeper position and let's see we see what we can do there. So goalkeepers, the height doesn't really matter, I guess. I it's gonna be Fraser Forster. He's like six foot eight or something. Yep, he's six foot seven. He's definitely a Fraser Forster. He's a good player keeps no link which is kind of sad look at this sad squad let's keep going i really need a center mid position oh we get petted check oh my goodness i really like chicharito i really like chicharito but i think it's got to be pure check yep he's six foot five which is 
tall and he's the record breaker check as well so he's definitely going to get into the starting lineup so this is the complete squad i'm going to see what i can do with the squad and then i'll be right back so this is the finished squad i have here as you can see i'm playing pepe and left back because it increases chemistry rather than having Gollum there who's also not a bad player we also got David Luiz inserted into the squad so let's add a manager and hopefully chemistry can increase I'm gonna go for Pochettino why not he's a BPL manager I like him let's go for skip and we get a shocking squad rating of 153 that is pretty shocking even though the players over here they might look good the chemistry is just absolutely shocking but you know what Let's get into the first match and then hopefully I don't get knocked out in the first match. So we have found the first opponent. Let's see what amazing squad he got. He's got Hero Ronaldo, he's got Messi, he's got a lot of BPL, I mean not BPL sorry, Spanish players and he also got a decent link with La Liga players so yep this is definitely not going to be easy. He's got Marcelo and Demarcus, they are a very big danger. It goes to Neustadter, not the best player in the pitch. But he gives it off to. That's a nice ball. Oh, now we won it up. That is amazing. We won it up already. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Pastore scores a goal. Good lad, Pastore. That's a good pass. Non selfish from whoever made the assist. Didn't decide to shoot himself. But that is a good goal. Now 1 0 up. And that is exactly what we need. There's my defense. Uh, I'm going to say that all game, aren't I? What the heck, my players? That is so eight. That is so 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 eight. I mean, wow, my defense is very poor. I don't think having Pepe on that left back position. I don't think that's really working out well. Oh, Pepe gets absolutely raped. Pepe, what are you doing, mate? Absolutely useless, Pepe. Absolutely useless. What, what was Pepe literally doing? He literally gave away for Messi. Pepe, that is really poor. I am definitely not going to use him in next match. If I do go up, I'm not even sure if I'm going to go up. So this is the halftime stats. We are win. I mean, we are drawing one or I got more possession. But our squad doesn't know how to play some football. So I got to make the change. I got to make them pretty fast. Oh, Pastore. Oh, Pastore has done him. A oh, past story, oh my gosh, there was a chance. It's a decent corner, it's Naldo. Oh my goodness, how could you miss that Naldo? You're 6 for 6 tall, but you can't use a head properly, can you? Oh, that is a chance. Ah, oh, goalkeeper saves it again. Come on. Okay, we are keeping pressure on them. Now we're going to give the ball to Naldo, who is tall, who's very tall, but he can't get the header. Oh no, 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 Umkitarian, Umkitarian, be in the goal side. Oh my goodness, what just happened? What has just happened? That's a corner apparently, so that was very dangerous. And then we, it's still dangerous when we can't defend, right? Now we've got options here. Pastore is going to keep going. Passes it to Aubameyang, and Aubameyang makes it 2-1. That is exactly what I'm looking for. That is a very good play by the lads. That was really what I'm looking for. Good run by Pastore. He's been the main player for me so far. Pastore, with an amazing performance, gives it to Aubameyang. Aubameyang is not going to miss it from there. Where's the pressure? Where's the pressure? Oh, where is the pressure? Where is the pressure? The pressure disappeared to the end of the world and then we concede. Again, a stupid goal to concede. What is David Luiz doing? He's like the only player with 10 chem and he can't do crap. Oh, there we go. Ronaldo's in space. Ronaldo, Cristiano, and he finds the back of the net. That is what I'm looking for Ronaldo, that was the Ronaldo that I was hoping to see and hoping to play in FIFA. That's a great pass but I don't know who that was, maybe it was Pastore again but now we can't concede, we are not going to make it 3-0. Finally, that is the full time, the referee finally decided to hit that, no not hit that, he blew that whistle. And now we first threw the first round but vibe very very close and the squad is just utter crap. Except for Pastore who did pretty decent. And let's see what we can do in the second game. So we will get into the second match right now. And again he's got uh, Team of the Year Messi. He's got Team of the Year Iniesta as well. He's got Gareth Bale. He's got Zuniga on the left mid. He's got Bonaventura. Higuain. That looks like a very solid score. He's got three in the back. Which could possibly be the game changer. What was that Papa? Uh oh. 
great save whoa that was very close we really don't want to give away those chances that was very very close look at the shots we're getting absolutely smashed it foul oh Pogba oh Obamia oh that is fabulous we won the love once again that is a good sign Obamian gets the goal lovely tackle by Pogba over here he gives it to Aubameyang, good pass, Aubameyang is fast and his finish is just at the back of the net. That is exactly what it is. And now we won it up and hopefully we don't concede. Time is Pogba, 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 oh my goodness we hit the post. Okay anyways, we are 1-0 up which is good but by very very close. We got more possession as last time but he's, got def he's definitely got way more shots. Which is dangerous exactly by four times as well. Interesting. We will get into the second half and hopefully we can secure this win. Yes. Oh no, what a save by the goalkeeper. I rate that. Post digging with the save. I'm I'm not too sure who took the shot. Oh cannot miss it from here and he did. Oh my goodness, Messi completely scuffed it. I cannot believe what is happening right now oh i gotta clear it that's nice pogba pastore oh my goodness pastore how can you possibly miss that that this is just diabolical finishing here by my players pretty that what are you doing now though oh dear what a save by Pedicek. i thought that was gonna be a goal okay now whenever we miss a chance it is, oh my goodness, Petr Cech with another save. But I was going to say, whenever we miss a chance, it becomes a chance for them. So when we do have a chance, we really got to take it. Oh my goodness. No, this can't be happening. He, oh, this cannot be happening. He equalized at 90th minute. I, I actually cannot believe this. This is, why is EA doing this to me? I miss all the chances and he scores in the 90th minute. Wow, so we don't deserve to draw, we deserve to win, and we deserve to win by at least 3-1 maybe. Where's the support? Ronaldo, oh completely scuffs it. Ronaldo completely scuffed the shot, I cannot believe it. Oh, Lamela stunned him. Lamela, Lamela is through on goal. Lamela absolutely scuffs it and there has to be a penalty, I will happily take that. Oh yes I will. And it's a red card as well, that's getting better. The question is can we score this penalty now since lamella got it i i guess the only fair thing to do is to let lamella take it we're gonna give it to left hand side no 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 he saved it i can't believe it I oh oh ref that's gotta be another penalty yes okay this time ronaldo's gonna take it straight into the center yes we scored this time Ronaldo into the center. Looks like the Ronaldo is the only one, the only one who can take penalties. Ronaldo puts it nicely into the middle and now we're 2-1 up. Yes, that is the full time and somehow we have managed to get a win. I'm not sure if I do deserve it because if I look at the stats, it's probably going to be heaps that way. But, you know, he scored at 9 at minute and that's definitely wrong as well. Lamella did decent by getting the header, I mean not the header, by getting the penalty. And oh my goodness, Pe look at Petr Cech, he made 13 saves, amazing. But actually, let's have a look at the stats and see what happened first. Yep, oh actually it was pretty close, except for the possession. But anyway, let's get into the third game and see if we can continue this form. So we're gonna get into the third game, and then this side is even more interesting. He's got Niang and Baka at the top, he's got Roberto Pereira, he's got Guarin, solid, solid squad. Also the link Premier League on the right hand side but it looks like a very solid Serie A squad let's see what our squad can do he also got Louis van Gaal as a manager which is interesting lagging oh amazing Ronaldo please oh oh my days what was that simply what was that just what was that Oh, that is very poor start to the game. That is just a poor start to the game. Okay, Pogba's gonna whip it in. That's a nice ball. Oh, finish that. Yes, that is 1-1. One, one. Straight away, the game's on. That's an instant reply, mate. Ronaldo scores. I don't know 
who scored for his. A decent cross gripped in by um, Pogba and someone gets the header and Ronaldo gets the follow up which is good and he pulls the game so you never know what's going to happen. Oh, you drew. Ref! That is the most obvious foul in the history of football. How is that not a penalty? And then he's now on attack. The most obvious penalty call. I don't know what Umkitarian was thinking there. And apparently, oh my goodness, that was dangerous. Oh, Cousin. Ronaldo. Oh my goodness, how did that not end up at the back of the net? How, how, how did that not end up at the back of the net? So this is what the stat is looking like. Like always, we have got the possession in control, but we won't be able to do a lot of good things with it. Like a lot of things were poor, especially Pastore, but I'm going to keep it in. But I'm going to put Umkitari now because of his poor performance, obviously. Let's get into the second half and let's change something. Obamia. Oh, it went in. Yes, thank you. I will definitely take that. I will definitely take that. That is a lucky deflection from us. Obamian with a good touch. He takes a shot. Maybe Gorky couldn't save that. It hits the defenders and ends up at the back of the net. That's what we're looking for. There we go. We're 2-1 up. That's a nice ball. Obamia. Let's sweat it. And Cristiano Ronaldo scores. I know it's a tramp goal, but really... I really needed that goal, that's why I tramped it. Maybe Aubameyang could have finished it from there, I'm not going to watch the replay, but that's 3-1 and that's the thing that matters the most. Oh, that is just lack of concentration by my players. Simply lack of concentration. W winning 3-1 three win, three doesn't mean we're winning, right? My defenders don't want to defend. What the heck is that passive returns? What a save! No! We have conceded again in the 80th minute to Ronaldo. We're gonna make a sub. Our players are poor. How many tackles is he gonna make? Oh, Pepe's dribbling through everyone. Oh, Pepe. Oh, Pepe. Oh, Pepe. Pepe, you legend. You have done something good. And I don't know who scored because it's not showing me the face. Is it Alexander who scored? I think it is. But what a winner. We could possibly snatch a win over here. Lovely dribbling by Pepe. Uh oh, great save by Petr Cech. I can't be asked. What a save by Cech, but what a good recovery. But what was that in the first place? That, was, that just happened EA. EA happened. We have won the third game, I don't know how, with this draft, the squad that has like really crap chemistry. But somehow Alexandro got the winner for me and somehow Naldo and Pepe got the assist. I don't know how that happened, but somehow it did. Okay, I guess, well, we are conceding a lot this foot drop, but well, we don't even have a proper defense, so I, I can't really complain. But anyway, somehow, I don't know how, but we are through, as you can see here, that's three wins now. Now we just need one more win for the ultimate prize. Let's see if we can do that. So we get into the final game of the draft. Let's have a look at who we are versing. He's got Obama, he's got Max Cruz, he's got Thomas Muller. That looks, that's a very good hybrid. As oh, Thomas Muller through. And he scored. But Thomas Muller is through once again. Oh, I cannot believe this. We are getting smashed. Oh my goodness, that's 3 0. I am getting absolutely smashed. This is probably game set and match. David Lewis with mo one of the most horrendous offside traps I've seen in my life. And there we go, 3 0. It's game over. Reed is so weak. 4 0. I cannot believe this. That just, this just explains the whole game. This just explains the whole game. It's full time. I get absolutely smashed 5 0. Yep, the squad, this squad is pretty damn bad. I have to say, even though I won three games, I guess there's just luck. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, oh, I have absolutely horrendous rating. David Luiz played crap. Everyone, I'm, I'm surprised how all of them didn't get a rating of two. But look, there we go. We are, our journey to the draft ends at third win once again. It's like my fifth time that the journey has ended on the third win because apparently in the fourth win your team 
genuinely becomes retarded. But anyway, let's claim the prize and let's see who we get. We get premium gold place pack and we get premium gold place pack. But anyways guys, this will be it for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.